Okay, we're going to try this again. This is the book corner um, from KBLP with Denise Harris live. We're going to be discussing children's books. And it uh, doesn't look like the signal is real strong, but we'll see. So let's try this again because half my comments weren't um, even going up. Uh, we're going to be discussing Easter children's books, um, some Easter movies and music, and even some horror themed Easter. So I hope you sit back and enjoy. Um, first up is Pete the Cat. And um, that's a big Easter adventure by uh, Pete the Cat and his big Easter adventure by James Dean. He's an author and artist, and he his art has been sold in 90 galleries and shops across the United States. He's devoted his paintings to Pete the Cat for the last 15 years. Um, it's a it's a huge um, series, um, and I just got that one uh, for my daughter's uh, my granddaughter's Easter basket. So um, I hope she enjoys it. Uh, the next one I'm going to discuss is the Bernstein Bears. And um, I don't know about you, but the Bernstein Bears are awesome. Um, my daughter, when I had my daughter, she's got about every Bernstein book uh, there is. And, of course, now my granddaughter has them. She's five, so she's enjoying them. And I love those books. They were simple and easy for them to understand. Um, so... I highly, I highly recommend them. If, if your kids don't have them, I'm sure most of them do. Uh, they are just awesome. Um, uh, my favorite one, I, it just sticks in my mind because uh, I was hoping my daughter would get it. Uh, it's the Berenstain Bears in the Messy Room. Uh, <laughs> it it uh, took a while for that to sing in her, but she finally got it. But uh, Anyway, this is uh, Berenstain Bears and the Easter Story by Jan and Mike Berenstain. Um, and this is about when Mama Bear overhears Papa Bear and the Cubs talking about their favorite Easter candy. She decides a lesson is in order about Easter. Um, the Berenstain Bears were first introduced in 1962 by Stan and Jan. And um, Mike, their son, grew up in a, watching his parents write and draw um, all these lovable bears, and now he's taken over. Unfortunately, they have passed. So, but uh, I don't know any, pretty much any child who doesn't have at least one Berenstain bear. Um, totally awesome. The next one I'm going to discuss is Paw Patrol. And if you don't know Paw Patrol, I don't know where you're living <laughs> because uh, Paw Patrol is everywhere. Um, my granddaughter loves Paw Patrol. She's always Sky. And of course, you have Ryder, Sky, Chase, Marshall, Everest. Rubble, Zuma, uh, <laughs> Trapper is one of the newest ones, and now they have uh, the uh, Power Pup. So uh, you got to keep up with that kind of stuff when when um, you have children or grandchildren. So I have to keep up on this. So anyway, this is Baron uh, Paw Patrol, uh, Save the Bunnies, Spring into Action. And, of course, it, it's pretty much explanatory. They save the bunnies for Easter. So, um, again... Uh, you better get be up on the uh, Paw Patrol series, so <laughs> because they they want to discuss that and and it's and it's a very good um, series because it teaches them teamwork and uh, follow directions and different things. So it, I I really enjoy the Paw Patrol. Uh, and the next one up is Here Comes Peter Cottontail by Random House, and uh, we all know. Peter Cottontail and his, um, uh, that was by Mary, um, Mary Man Kong, um, by Random House. The next one is The Tale of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter, and we all know that name from our childhood. I do, anyway. Um, that tale has been around for years and will be for years more. It's about the, the um, famous tale of Peter Rabbit and his adventures in uh, Mr. McGregor's garden. And uh, I don't know what child has grown up with that tale. Um, and we have another one called The Adventures of Peter Cottontail by Thornton W. Burgess. And it's one of the most beloved characters. And, of course, Peter Cottontail is one of the most beloved characters in children's literature. Um, Peter is up to his long-whiskered nose and his rib-tickling escapades. He discovers the folly of changing his name. Um... 
and he manages a number of uh, Escape by the Hair adventures um, and makes an ill-advised decision to hibernate, um, as some of the other woodland creatures do. So not a good thing, but a, a good tale, um, I'm sure. Okay, we're going to go to some Easter music, and I'll be right back. fluffy tail and bunny is his name oh b u n n y b u n n y b u n n y and bunny is his name oh there is a rabbit with a pink nose floppy ears and a fluffy tail and bunny is his name
Welcome back to KBLP. This is the Book Corner with Denise Harris, and we're discussing Easter children's books um, and movies, and I'll have some horror-themed Easter a little later. Now, back to the children's books. The next one on my list was um, It's the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown, and, of course, that's by Charles M. Schultz. And it's, um, it's almost Easter, and everyone is get, getting ready with a big Easter egg hunt when Marcy mentions she's never colored eggs before. So Peppermint Patty decides to show her how. Um, Marcy ruins two batches by frying and scrambling those eggs. Peppermint Patty tells her the e that eggs must be boiled, but forgets to tell Marcy not to crack them. So Marcy ends up making a big batch of egg drop soup. Now there are no eggs to be colored. Will the Easter Beagle come to the rescue? We'll find out. So, <laughs> another classic um, uh, by Charles M. Schultz. It, it, that's timeless, just as a, you know, it's a great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Love it, love it. Um, and also in this, well, we'll be discussing uh, the movie. Uh, it's in the top ten Easter movies also. So, We'll be discussing a little more on that. Okay, um, the next one is by Disney, uh, and it's Cars, um, Mater and the Easter Buggy. And the Easter, um, it's Easter in Radiator Springs, and no one is more excited than Mater, of course. You know how excited Mater gets. He can't wait for the Easter Buggy to fill his Easter tire with lug nuts and coolant. And you know how, like I said, how Mater gets. Uh, but his friend Lightning McQueen is uh, worried uh, that Mater's holiday will be ruined when Mater wakes up to find that his Easter tire is empty. So Lightning comes up with a plan to make sure his friend's dreams aren't dashed. After all, Lightning knows that the Easter buggy isn't real. Or is he? Um, we know he is, right? Right, everybody? Sure. Um, <laughs> um also, if you're listening in, hit like and come into the chat and um, you'll be eligible to uh, win a trip or two to Vegas. How cool is that? Um, um, Lisa and Ike are working on that. Hopefully we'll get some more details on that, but that would be really cool. And it's not uh, beneath me to be a stowaway, so you better check your luggage before leaving. <laughs> so um, keep that in mind. So please join us here in the chat and let me know what your child's favorite um, Easter story is. Okay, the next one is the Easter Egg Express. It's with Thomas and Friends. And again, that's another um, popular child uh, book. Um, Thomas and Friends is uh, well known everywhere. Um, train loving boys and girls will enjoy a funny Easter story about spilled paint. So it is Easter Parade and Easter baskets, and eggs, and friend, um, Thomas's friends, and he saves the day for his dearest pal, Percy. Um, Thomas and friends is really popular, especially with uh, boys. I don't know why, but it, it really is. It's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful, timeless classic again. Okay, the next one is This is another popular show and theme, Peppa Pig. It's Peppa's Easter Egg Hunt, and that's by Scholastic. And it's springtime, and Grandpa Pig... 